Today we are going to be looking at the new flying car that will change the entire electrical vehicle industry. So let's get started. For decades car makers sort of fooled around the flying car concept. The idea of cars flying over buildings, bridges, highways, and cities through unmarked highways up high in the air was, and still is, a dream. However, with as many as 70 million cars added annually everywhere across the globe while urban sprawl getting out of control and traffic congestion choking cities and people, the dream and fiction had to be turned into a reality. However, there was a clash. On one hand, the creation of anything that can fly is technically the business of the aviation industry, while the business of creating cars is the business of the automaker industry. Even governments do not know how to create rules and regulations for flying cars. Big questions remain unanswered. The most basic one is, do I need a small aircraft pilot license to fly my car to work? It is a really messy business because believe it or not, there are quite a few flying car brands out there and you can buy one now, but good luck getting permission to fly it within a city. Toyota, like many other car and plane makers, has developed its own flying car which we are not sure whether to call it a flying car or a small plane because it only flies but does not drive on the roads and it costs about $1.5 million. Anyway, Toyota is quite serious and hence today we will take a journey into the whole flying car phenomenon which is gaining traction quite fast with top banks expecting the industry to be worth more than $1.6 trillion by 2035 which is merely 11 years away, hence big stuff is brewing. Let's start by clearing the air. A flying car or taxi as some like to call them is not or rather should not be an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle EVTOL. The reasons we say this are many, starting with the fact that cars are for roads and EVTOLs are flying machines. We will discuss this in detail in a bit, so for now, let's focus on what constitutes a flying car. A flying car is simply any car like the one you have in your garage right now, but is also able to fly anywhere between a few to a few hundred meters up in the air due to modifications, and is also a car that drives on wheels on the street like other cars. It also could be a car without wheels and sort of hovers above the road by a few inches and cruises around on roads and streets like other cars but without wheels. Now such a vehicle would constitute a flying car. It is a car and not a plane like EVTOLs, which needless to say are actually planes with vertical landing and takeoff capabilities. So, just because some automakers teamed up with EVTOL developers, it does not mean that they are making flying cars. Mind you that some did make actual cars that can fly and we will talk about them in a bit. This may seem strange to you, but it is the future and it will be based on war between automakers and plane makers such as Boeing and Airbus. We actually think that this war has already started because as we dug for the info to bring you this video, we sort of found most information to be rather confusing. We found automakers launching what can only constitute small light helicopters with visible or hidden routers that are nothing short of delivery drones and calling them flying cars or taxis. And we also found plane makers, covertly and through startups that they own or fund, making what they call EVTOLs that are destined to replace cars, buses, trucks, and even lorries in the future. The bottom line is, both industries are invading each other's space and the war is on. Call them flying cars or EVTOLs, it does not matter. In the end, it is business, and in 100 years tops, wheels will be a thing of the past as all transportation's mods will have the capability to either move while hovering or flying or both. So, for now, we will just settle for sorry, but it's still murky and trillions are at stake. But we can tell you confidently, that as far as we can tell, the auto industry is heading for victory for various reasons. It is their niche, and they are cleaning up their act with BEVs, recycling, hydrogen ices, and other green technologies. Meanwhile, the aviation industry is not anywhere near becoming green and there are no passenger planes in existence at this moment that use any fuels other than the dirty kerosene and its alternatives, which are also dirty. So, the folks in the aviation industry have a lot of work to catch up on before they can go head-to-head -head with the ancient aviation industry. Okay, let's now take a look at what Toyota has been doing over the past few years in the flying car innovation department, then move to compare how it ranks in comparison with others. Toyota was not the first company to get into the flying cars business, in fact, they jumped the wagon to compete with Hyundai which has been testing flying cars since 2017. 
and as usual, Toyota did want to become the laughingstock of some of the dinosaurs with deep pockets in the industry and satirical media cartoonists, so they allocated a few hundred million dollars and dumped them on the nearest innovator in the EVTOL niche. To their luck, a startup called Joby Aviation was open for business, hungry for cash, and also in need of strong backers to keep them in the game. So, Toyota threw $400 million at them and gave them access to some of their technologies and top engineers. A partnership was created and the results since then have been nothing short of amazing. In 2020, Toyota was no longer worried about image issues and it suddenly announced that air transportation has been a long-term goal. The CEO and president of Toyota even issued this statement as we take up the challenge of air transportation together with Joby, an innovator in the emerging EVTOL space, we tap the potential to revolutionize future transportation and life. Through this new and exciting endeavor, we hope to deliver freedom of movement and enjoyment to customers everywhere, on land, and now, in the sky. This statement caused ripples in the auto sector and the aviation industry too. But needless to say, the day of flying cars littering the skies is still a little too far off for such a bold statement. Mind you that the whole thing was a little too crazy because in 2020, Toyota was still not embracing fully electric cars, and to this day, it is still focusing on making hybrids and hydrogen combustion engines which it really believes in. We made a couple of videos about Toyota's obsession with hydrogen, ICEs, and hydrogen fuel cell EVs, so make sure to check them out. Toyota's aim via Joby was simple. They wanted an all-electric, three or four rotter, five-seater, 200 miles per hour EV TOL with a range of at least 150 miles per charge. It also had to be very quiet, or at least 100 times quieter than helicopters which are extremely loud and one can hear coming from more than a mile away. They also wanted it to be designed like a taxi or for ride-sharing, Uber style. It made a lot of sense, but it was also a response to something big by the Chinese company Xping Era, which is partially owned by the Dubai Investment Authority. Do not get us wrong here, in 2020, Xping was still testing EVTOLs and improving, in 2022, the flying car, Xping X2, which comes as a two- or five-seater, took over Dubai skies. Dubai has even established special stations for these new EVTOLs, which are currently used as air taxis. So if you want to try one, the cheapest way to do it is to head to Dubai. Fast forward to October 2022, Joby Aviation Inc., which is a U.S. registered air taxi startup on Toyota Motors payroll, applied to Japan's Transport Ministry for aircraft certification as it prepared to launch its Urban Transportation Services, or EVTOLs, to be more specific. Mind you that the company received in May of 2022 certification from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, allowing it to begin commercial air taxi operations with EVTOLs. But like other companies that are backed up by other automakers, the company still has a lot of regulatory hurdles to clear in the United States and Japan among other places before its EVTOL can fly passengers. Their goal is to have their flying cars available to consumers by 2025 at the most which is happening but on a very small scale and for a very limited deep pocket clientele base. Toyota's flying car is called the SkyDrive SD05, which is designed to be the world's smallest electric vehicle that can take off and land from a vertical position. Just last June, the company sold one of these units for the modest sum of $1.5 million to some Japanese billionaire. Needless to say, the SkyDrive SD05 flying car looks nothing like what George Jetson flew around Orbit City in the 1960s when the futuristic Hanna-Barber cartoon first aired. SD-05 is a two-passenger EVTOL multi-copter aircraft. It has an estimated maximum cruise speed of 100 kilometers, 12 propellers, and 12 electric motors on an overhead boom assembly. It has a back-to-back -back modified V-boom configuration with the rear V-boom having a slight wing-type structure. At each end of the booms is a cross-boom and each propeller is at the ends of each cross-boom. The booms are located at the top of the fuselage. One of the challenges Toyota and others experimenting with EVTOLs are facing is the battery size, capacity, and weight. 
The reason for this is that as much as the developers brag about how flying cars are for inner city travel, the fact and truth is 90% of all clients interested in or are capable of buying one want long range on one charge and speed to be able to reach their various properties, businesses, and work as fast as possible. These folks tend to live in mansions and villas quite far from their offices. Their luxury dungeons are often in the countryside within exclusive areas. Many of them want to be able to go to work or a meeting somewhere as far as 200 kilometers in as little as one hour and return safely on one charge. And maybe take a detour here and there to show off their new toy to their friends. They also do not mind paying a few million dollars to have one or two flying cars with such features parked in their garage. Klein Vision Air Car Engineered by BMW, Klein Vision Air Car was given an official certificate of airworthiness by the Slovak Transport Authority. This sleek looking vehicle can transform from a car into a plane in less than three minutes. With retractable wings and folding tail surfaces, Air Car can function on both the road and in the sky. It comes equipped with a 160 horsepower BMW engine. It uses a propeller for propulsion and is equipped with a ballistic parachute for greater safety. The air car has more than 70 hours of flight time behind it, during which it was subject to toe demanding tests that include turns at an angle of 45 degrees and other elements of flight. The prototype one flew at an altitude of 2,500 meters and reached a speed of 190 kilometers per hour. The BMW engine Renault Air 4 has had an official certificate of airworthiness by the Slovak Transport Authority since 2022. The Air 4 body is similar to the original 1961 car, but it's made entirely from carbon fiber. With no doors, users lift up the carbon fiber shell at the rear to get inside the utilitarian cabin. The PAL V Liberty is a combination of a three-wheeled car and an autogyro or gyroplane under development by PAL V of the Netherlands. Both a driver's license and an autogyro pilot's license are required to operate the two-seater flying car. We really like this one because it is both a car and a plane, hence a real flying car. But it is powered by a combustion engine rather than an electrical engine. On the road, it can hit the speed of 170 km per hour and travel up to 1,300 km on a tank of the green fuel types of Euro 95 or Euro 98 or E10. When it takes to the skies via its heli-like foldable rudder, it can cruise at a speed of up to 180 km per hour, up to 3,500 meters high, kind of crazy, and it has a range of up to 500 km. This babe has been road legal in Holland since March 2022. It even comes in a sports version for about $750,000. Let us know what you think in the comments section and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Thank you.